Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to install free VMware desktop player on Windows 11. So the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and open your web browser. And once you're in your web browser, you can go ahead and navigate to vmware.com. And once you're on VMware website, you can go ahead and click on products. And then from here, you can go under desktop hypervisor and click on workstation player. Once you get here, you can go ahead and click on download for free. From here, you can pick a version of the VMware workstation player that you want to download. So we're going to go with the latest version and then you can go ahead and click on go to downloads. And then down here, you can go ahead and click on download now. Um, and I will be downloading uh, the VMware workstation version for the Windows operating system. So I'm going to click on download now. Shortly after, the download will begin. And up here, you can see the progress of your download. Once your package is downloaded, you can go ahead and open it. You can go ahead and close the browser for now. And on this screen, you can go ahead and click next. And you have to check the mark here that says accept the terms and license agreement. And then go ahead and click next. This feature here is optional. You can select it if you want. In my case, I'm going to skip it. But I will leave the check mark on the add VMware workstation console tools in the system path. So then I'm going to just go ahead and click next. I would like to keep my software always up to date. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this check mark here. And I'm going to uncheck this because I don't want to be part of their VMware customer improvement program. So if you want to be part of that program, you can leave the check mark there. Here you can choose if you want to have a shortcut created on your desktop and then your start menu. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the check marks on both of these. And then you can go ahead and click install. And if you have a license, you can enter it here. But since we're going to be using the free version, we can just go ahead and skip this step and just go ahead and click on finish. And once the installation is completed, you can go ahead. And if you created a shortcut on your desktop, you can start VMware from your desktop. Or you can also go to the start menu, search for VMware and start it from here. When you start it for a very first time, again, you'll be prompted to either enter a license key if you have the pro version of it, or if you want to use it for non-commercial use, for home use, and you can just leave the check mark on use VMware workstation for free for non-commercial use. So I'm going to leave that here and I'm going to go ahead and click continue. And on this screen, you can go ahead and click finish. And that will open the VMware workstation player. And now you'll be ready to go ahead and start creating some virtual machines in it. So I'm going to stop this video here and I'm going to make a future video in which I'm going to show you how to build a virtual machine with a Linux on it. If you like this video, please go ahead and click on the like button. And if you want to see more of my videos, please go ahead and subscribe for my channel. Thank you for watching.